effects along the path is a wonderful way to create all kinds of special effects on your page. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Adobe InDesign to create a type on a path, adjust the type's position, apply an effect, and delete the type on the path. To begin with, we need to use the pen tool to draw a path. Select the pen tool, click and drag to draw a path. To type text on the path, we have to find the type on the path tool. Click and hold the type tool for a moment, and then you can find it in the pop-up menu. Move the cursor over to the edge of my path, and when it's in the right place, you will see this little plus sign. Now I can start typing. I'll just type some random text here. And you can see that the text goes right on the edge of the path. We can change the position on the path by using the selection tool. Choose the selection tool and then click on the path. After you do that, you can see the start and end line of the text. Now I'm going to change the left edge by dragging this line. I'll just click and drag and I'll bring it down just a little bit. You can see by changing that, it actually moved the text around. We can also apply different effects to the text. To do that, go to the type menu and choose the type on the path submenu. Then, choose Options. The Type on the Path option dialog box will let you format the text in all kinds of cool ways. We can set what part of the text aligns along the path. We do that from the Align option. We can also adjust the spacing of the text. When you set everything ready, go ahead and click OK. The last thing you need to know is how to get rid of the text on the path. To do that, we can go back to the Type menu, choose from the Type on the Path submenu, and then choose Delete Type from Path. Now, it's just a regular path again.